targeted individuals. These gang stalkers and narcissists like to they like to take they like to they like to separate you from who you really are. They like to make you they like to change you up. They like to reprogram you. Whatever it is that you any 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 of your uh interest they like to change your interests. All of them. Okay? And and this is how they ultimately this is how they ultimately change you into the person that they want you to be. Um it it it, it it's not like one it's not like they try to change like one like attribute about you. These these motherfuckers they 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 um they're strategic in the way that they break you down and then build you back into what they want you to be. Like um <clears throat> for example, like if you say say if you're into well let me just say this, they don't like for you to be in love with anything other than them. They don't like for you or or something that they're interested in. You have to love what they love. You have to love them and you have to be interested in what they want you to be interested in. You can't have your own interests to the side. Um, you know this because they try to take this shit away. They try to take these interests away. You feel me? Like even your children. If you if you even have interests, if you love your children too much and you're in love with your children, they don't like that. They'll try to separate that. They'll try to get you to... They'll try to get you to think that your children is bad. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you that as soon as you left out that door, they start to do this or she start to do this. And then they'll they'll get some joy, some joy in the, um joy out of watching you yell at the children. Um or, or or beat the children in their sight. They'll get joy out of watching you do that. Something that something that you usually don't do. Like raise your voice at them. You feel me? And they'll feel good to be the one to get you to bring it there. To get you to raise your voice. To be the reason why you did it. You know what I'm saying? Any little thing like that. If you have a, if you have a favorite actor or singer or something that puts you at ease. Something that you like. Something that interests you. They'll try to take this person. Rapper, actor, singer. They'll try to take this person and, um, and like try to find dirt on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, try to find dirt on them and then show you, like, look, like, this person's into, you know, whatever. This person is a fraud or this person is a rapist. This person is gay. This person is whatever they possibly can do to get you to lose interest in this individual. They will. Real talk. That's what they'll do. For real. Anything that you're interested in. If you're into boxing. Oh, here's another thing. Anything that you're interested in, anything that you that you're into, anything that you like, um, if this something, if it's something like um, the water, uh, like say say you're into I don't know boxing, then they'll tell you how they were in the how how they used to be a boxer. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever it is, they're always trying to battle you too and outdo you too. They're better than you at this. They're better than you at that. You, you see what I mean? Anything they're always trying to outdo you. Anything that interests you, okay. Anything that interests you, they'll try to beat you in at that, or they'll try to do it better than you, or they'll try to just turn you off of it, turn you away from it. You know what I'm saying? If you're the kind of person, if you have, listen, if you dealt with a gangst, if you dealt with a narcissist. Okay, well, let me just tell you real fast the difference between narcissists and gang stalkers. My opinion. They're the same. Gang stalkers and narcissists are the same. The only thing is, is that the narcissist has, the narcissist um, has close encounters with you. You interact with this person on a personal level. So they're close. They have access to you that the gang stalker don't have access to you. If the gang stalker had this personal access with you um 24 7 like the narcissist does then then they would be the narcissist too the gang stalker is just somebody who pops in pops up say it's a friend or a relative some some vampire sucking motherfucker some energy um drinking motherfucker right 
say it's somebody, somebody like in my case, it would be my mom. She'll pop up, come, draw my fucking good energy out, start gossiping about people, talking shit about people. And then she'll try to, um, she would, before I was hip to this, she would bring me down to her level and then run off and then leave with my energy and leave me down and then go, and then go to the next person, talk shit about me. After she just left from talking shit about with me, she'll go to someone else and talk shit about me. After she just left my house. That's a gang stalker. That's a gang stalker. Okay? Somebody that pops in, pops out. Somebody that wants to know, where are you working at now? You know? How's your relationship going with such and such? Or I heard this about them. And then read your reaction. I heard this about them. I heard they're doing this behind your back. Where are you working at now? feel me um how's this person doing um um you know what i mean how do you feel about this all in your fucking business they need to know everything about you that's a gang stalker you dig now uh, 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 now now if now a narcissist they're the same fucking way energy vampires you know what i'm saying um um, want to bring you down low, drag you through the fucking mud. They're doing the same thing that the gang stalkers doing. The only thing that they, they, the only thing they have, they got your ass. They're close. They're close up on you, and they're so close that you trust them. You see what I mean? They're so close that you, 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 you trust them. You learn to love them. You actually care about them. You see what I'm saying? And they have tactics. They have tactics to pull you in, to to really think that you need them. To have you thinking that they need you. You feel me? But um, all that... Listen. This is what they do. So, if you dealt with gang stalkers and, and um, narcissists. Crap like that. Um, um, if, you're, if, you're a, if you're a male, you dealt with a woman with a Jezebel spirit. Uh, like a hoe. A whore. You feel me? Um... These types of people like to, they target certain people, certain, there's certain type of people that they draw towards, that they're, you know, and what they do is, is I, you're a high vibrating kind of person. Your energy is good and positive. They, these fucking leeches need to come in, drain you of all that good energy. And when you're depleted, they'll leave you alone. When you deplete it, they'll get rid of you. They'll be dying to get rid of you. When in the beginning, they were trying to do whatever they could to bring you in, draw you in. When they, but when they robbed you completely of your energy, then, <clears throat> then they're done with you. But like I said, they like to get you to abandon everything per- natural about you. Everything that you used to like, love, interest, even songs. Even songs that you used to like and listen to. Things that put you... Things that put you where you were at. You didn't need nobody to tell you that you like this song. You didn't need nobody to tell you that you like this particular movie. You didn't need nobody to tell you that you like going to the park to chill by the water. You didn't need nobody to tell you that you like going fishing. Or whatever it is that you like to do to put you to to where you get your, your, your... This is where you get your energy, your good energy from naturally. So you don't need nobody to tell you that you like this or like that. You feel me? And you, the type of energy that you get, that you got, that drives you, that makes you who you are, you don't have to go and steal that and you didn't steal it from anybody else. You didn't rob it. This is just who the fuck you are. What these bastards like to do is, is they like to take you away from everything that makes you you. So now the energy that you have is there. Okay? It's just there. Because you ain't getting it from what you usually get it from. Your, your sources, they're starting to cut off your sources. And what they like to do, once they cut your sources of your energy where you get it from at, they like to start draining it all out of you. Which leaves you deplete. It's pretty fucked up, but it leaves you completely like fucked up, deplete. By the time you're done with this motherfucker, you're crawling, barely living. Sometime, in a lot of cases, you become suicidal. You don't want to live anymore. You feel me? You come, you come crawling out of some fucked up ass... Um, state that they left you in now that, that's somebody who dealt with the narcissist you feel me that's somebody who dealt with the narcissist okay now you have people out there dealing with gang stalkers who listen before you even met this fucking narcissist they was they was a gang stalker 
in, in, in a lot of cases, they had their eye on you. Gang stalking, they're watching you. They've been peeping you. They've been peeping out your uh, your social media. That's a gang stalker. They've been trying to see what you're into. They, you, you see what I mean? They have to profile you first. So they're profiling you. Before they come in, love bombing you, trying to draw you in, trying to fuck the shit out of you, trying to do whatever they can to um to get you. They had to profile you first. So there was oh there was a gang stalker first, then they became that narcissist. You dig? And this is the way that it works. This is the way they do. You feel me? See, here's the thing. Say 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 this is something that I love. Let's or say this is say let's use this as an example. Let's say that this is something that I love. It has my interest. I'm always jotting something down in here and I'm always I'm even I'll even go back Every now and then, and read something that I wrote, say two, three years ago, and I and I and I um I'll be laughing, cracking myself up about something that I wrote, or even feeling good about something that I wrote, saying, "Damn, I was, well, I was feeling real happy this day," and and that that there makes you feel good. It gives you good energy. That book, that fucking book. To them, that's how they're looking at it. That fucking book. See why you're doing that? They feel like that this book is taken away. From their attention. Okay? They'll call you a little bitch. A little bitch boy. You better go in your little bitch boy book, your little journal, your little bitch. They'll have you thinking that they're fucking with your psyche now. Because now they'll have you really thinking. Um, you know, the hell with that book. I am I guess I am like a little bitch. They'll plug it in your mind that you're a little bitch for writing in your book. Something that makes you happy. They'll put that in your mind. Okay, and if that don't work, well, they'll, they'll put it in your mind anyway because this is what they do. They'll do it anyway. Um, here's the thing: why they do this? Let me just before I even finish that. This is the reason why they do this. See, this book you're giving attention to this book. You're not giving it to them. You're giving attention to the book, and 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 see that that's the gift that keeps on giving. Because if you love this book, then there's obviously something about this book that there's obviously something that this book does for you. You see what I mean? So you love the book. And and so you give the energy to the book and in return, you give the attention and energy to the book and in return, the book gives the same energy back to you because you like the book. So y'all, y'all always going to be one. They need to separate that. If it's a CD player, same thing. If it's a CD player, they'll try to outdo you with the CD player. They'll, for one, they'll say that they had a better one or they had the same one and then they got a better one or whatever. But they'll try to separate you from the CD player because you're putting interest into the CD player. And the, intro, the CD player is giving you back something. Good energy because you like it. So it's a give and take type of. Something that they can't defeat. Something that they can't win. So anyway. So what they'll do is. Is one day your book will come up missing. If they can't get you to put it away all on your own. To bring you down. To say that you're acting like a pussy. For fucking with this book. Like a bitch. What's that your little diary? You're going in your little diary. They'll say it in a jokey way. Laughing. But they'll say it all the time. In your book, oh, you're putting a little blog in your little in your diary, in your little journal. They'll say that over and over again, joking with you for months at a time. They'll say it till 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 till, and then you're gonna naturally stop doing this around them. You're gonna stop doing it around them. But then, as time goes by, you start to hear them in your mind, even when you're by yourself, and you start to leave your fucking book alone. Okay. They'll replace that book with something that they want to replace it with. They'll put a blunt in your hand. Or they'll put... They'll, they'll replace it with something. Trust me. And then they'll want to have your... They'll want you to have... They'll put their interests that they want you to have on you. They'll build you, slowly build you, into the type of human being that they want you to be. They took you outside of yourself. And then when you become outside of yourself, now you start to treat these motherfuckers people as if you need them because now they created listen they created you okay they created you so now you need them you can't just create something and then expect it to function without telling it okay now you can't just build a shell and then not um you can't just build an outline of something but and not teach it how to um to operate so they take away everything that's natural about you and then they make you who they want you to be. But now you don't really can't function really without them. This is what they do. Now you feel like you need them to function. 
you need their opinion on this. You need their opinion on that. You need, really, you always need their opinion. You you look for their, um, you look for them to validate you. That's the word I'm looking for. You look for them to validate you at all given times from every aspect of your life. These motherfuckers become your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your lover, your pet. They become your, they become your everything. That's what the narcissist likes to do to you. Okay. Somebody might say, somebody might say, well, how, what do you, well, how do you, how do you, how do you come fix yourself from something like that? I can say that it's simple. Now I can say that it's simple because I went through it. I can say that it's simple now. Um, and it, it sounds more simple than how than, than, than it actually is, but it works. And this is what you do. You, 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 you go back to, you go back to doing the things that interest you. Okay. I don't care what it is. All of it. Go back to all of it. Go back to everything about it. About you that you used to do. Even things that you can remember. Say from your, teen, your teenage years. Something that you used to like. Go do it man. Go do it. Even if you're grown now. Just go do it. Because that's you picking back up pieces of yourself. And putting it back in. I don't care what it is. See because when you get around. When you deal with the narcissist man. I don't care what it is. Even if it's something as simple as working out. Fitness. They don't like for you to. They don't like for you working out. Anything that you're interested in. They don't like for you to do it. They don't. Or they'll capitalize on it. If you're interested in it and, and you won't stop, even though they want you to stop, they want your, if, if if you're still interested in, say, working out, they'll take this time, since, you, since, since you're going to do it against their will, what they really want for you to do, well, they'll find this time while you're going to go work out, they'll be fucking somebody else. They'll find that time while, while you're doing your interests, they'll, they'll use that time to go fuck somebody And as a matter of fact um, As long as you're following your own interests And they're not in it They're not They're, they're secluded They're out You're trying to do your own thing Whether if it's if, Even if it's like Going to work Trying to earn some money um, Running a business Anytime you're doing these things For yourself For yourself Protecting your own interests And they're not around They're fucking somebody They're cheating on you Trust me Trust me. Trust me. And I, I'm, I'm serious. Trust me. That's real talk. That's what they're doing. These motherfuckers like to cry too. If you find out about them early, if you find out, if you find out about them early, before they depleted you of all of your good energy, if they, before they depleted you of um, everything that makes you you, if you find out about them early and you go to make an exit, they'll start crying because the job isn't finished yet. It's, it's, it, these are demons I hope y'all know this These are demons Now back to what I was going to say How do you make it out? You go back to doing everything that's natural about you leave them, leave them alone Leave them alone Leave them alone They already have a backup anyway You're not somebody significant in their life You're just a good energy source You are And you're a better energy source While you used to be before they draw, drew, drew you the whole way out This is what they do They, they go throughout life Drawing people's energy, drawing people out. I'll give you an example. So see, they'll probably have, they'll probably have a whole arsenal of people that they fucking. Okay, they never stop. Fuck, they they never stop dealing with these people. They use you out until you get until they get bored with you. Until you know when you first have sex with somebody, it's good, it's good, it's vibrant, it's it's good. Well, after say about two or three months of continuing with this person, it gets old. So then what happens? You stop. You stop. You don't got no beef. You just stop for a while. You know what I mean? But then what happens? Y'all do then then then, then they, they they go back to doing it again after so long to, apart. They come back again where the energy's still good. And this is what these narcissists do. So while they got you though, 24-7, they got you 24-7, they're gonna drain you of all the energy. So and when the relationship's over, it's over. Because they drew you the whole way out down low until you were depleted. So when it's over, it's over. You come crawling back out of that ditch. You ain't never going back to that bullshit. Now these other people, their side folks, their little side fucks and all this, they maintain they maintain a longer relationship with the narcissist than you. Because they have an on and off type of relationship. They rebuild. They recharge and come back for more draining. And then they recharge. And then that, that's why they sustain a longer relationship than you. You stood in there for maybe for a year 
or two before they, before it was they got you depleted and you bounced. They fuck around with these people for um, um, ten years, ten years or better, five years and five years and still going. You know what I mean? Because they they'll do it, and then and then like I said, they'll run out of the energy. They'll jump to somebody else, and then why that chirp person's recharging, and they'll come back. Why it's still new again? Come on, man. If you was dealing with a narcissist, if you was dealing with a narcissist, all the people that they was fucking while they was with you, if y'all done, they still fucking them. You know what I mean? Especially if they go like if the, the bar life, they might run into somebody that they've been fucking for a while. They just took a little time off to recharge because they get tired of people. And then they might see them one night at the bar and bam, it can all start back going again. And that's how it works. That's exactly how it works. They don't have falling outs with their fuck buddies. They don't have falling outs with some woman's husband who she's fucking or who or someone and vice versa, male, female. But like I said, I'm not going to get way off into it. You understand, especially if you dealt with these motherfuckers, then you understand. If you're dealing with one right now, if you're dealing with one right now, I'm letting you know. They done disrespected you so many times. You finding out now that they're a narcissist after the mouth, after the, uh, the the shit slipped off, the mask slipped off. My lips is moving. I got to hurry up and end this video. But listen, if you know that they're a narcissist and you're watching this video and you know, you, you know that you're dealing with a narcissist by now. If you're still dealing with them, then guess what? They don't respect you because they already they already disrespected you to the point where anybody that would have left them alone. They already disrespected you so bad um, a long time ago where you should have been left them the fuck alone. Leave them alone for your own good, or else it's going to cost you more than what um, it's going to do you more harm than good. Being with these people, I know it seems like you need them and stuff like that, but you don't need them. They actually need you as an energy source. Okay. When you leave them alone completely, they have other energy sources. You see, but this is the way that they go about getting the energy. They can never be themselves. They have to fake in front and they have to put on different characteristics in different places at different times. They have to carry themselves as a character. They actually live their life out as a character. These people are going through it, man, real bad. And so, as long as you're acting to receive energy from people, then... You're, you're, you're actually you're you're actually you're losing energy as you're gaining it, and you you actually you, these motherfuckers are living in hell. So this is what you do: go back to being who you are. Go back to to li go back to listening to the songs that you like. Stop doing the kind of things that they that they got you doing. Okay, come out. You need your energy back, so you have to come out of a toxic lifestyle. Stop drinking, and you drinking is not going to bring your energy back, and it's not going to take your sorrows away. Stop drinking. Get back to who you are. Listen, I know this shit sounds hard, but you have to start to eat and drink from nature. Build yourself back up. You will feel the difference after being away from this person. Stay away from this person for a good week or two and feed yourself though good and drink good. Healthy. Don't stop drinking and shit like that. Alcohol and crap. Stop smoking cigarettes. Do yourself that favor and then watch the way that you feel. Start to go down by the water and chill by the water. Just chill by the water. And watch watch the way that you feel. You have to replenish after dealing with these bastards. As far as karma goes, their karma, don't even worry about it. They're already living in their karma. When they have to live life faking and fronting and trying to be something that they're not acting out all the time, they're already living in hell. They can never come back into who they actually are. They're already paying back every day that they wake up, every time they look in the fucking mirror, man. Okay? And listen, once you separate yourself from these people, they're going to be looking for another energy source like you. They can say that you ain't shit, and right now you probably ain't shit. You let these bastards draw you the whole way out. You can look in the mirror if you're dealing with one of these narcissists too long and even say for yourself, yo, I ain't shit. It gets that bad. It gets that deep. Well, you know you, you, know you ain't shit. You feel me? You gotta leave these punks alone, leave these bastards alone. Build yourself back up. They'll be looking at you later on. And they'll see the way that you built yourself back up, because that's what they do. And you'll be a great energy source that they wish they could get their hands on. They're gonna they're gonna spend the next few years trying to find the same type of energy source like you. Move on to bigger and better things. Peace.